Good evening, everybody. We are live. Let's see. Let's, uh... Gonna put one more comment in here. Yeah, I think I'm all in good order now. Get my ecam back up here. There we go. And get um, where's the comments? There we go. Don't need this. Get rid of that. All right. I think it's uh, day 28 of the marathon, the piano marathon. Hey, help! Nice to see you, man. <coughs> Annette. Annette, are you doing any hiking these days? What's the ground like up there? Thank you, Annette. You know, I'm uh, alternating between white and black shirts if you really want to know my secret. And I'm, uh, I've got the uh, studio light on. I've messed around with that today, so I think I've got a nice warm color happening. Experiment. So I've got a... Here, I'll show you. Let's see if I go use the computer. Um, come on. There. So if I turn the, cam if I turn the computer, you can see... Um, that's a studio light. Hi, Susan. Nice to see you in the background. So this is, this is my direct headshot from the computer, and that's the Logitech camera. So hiking lots on legal open trails. Oh, boy. Uh, I want to go hiking. I might, have to, I might have to, you might have to take me for a hike. I need to get back in the woods. Hi, Kate. Nice to see you. Black and black. Yes, I am doing the. Uh, I'm gone. I've gone black tonight. Thursday night black. It's Mennonite night. <coughs> so, um, housekeeping. Uh, just to let everybody know that uh, we're still raising funds for Covenant House, uh, Dave's charity tip jar, uh, right over here. You know. So the. Uh, let's. I can't read it because it's overexposed. There you go. Um, Hi, Deborah. And so that's, uh, yeah, that's what's happening there. And uh, let's see, I also want to thank our sponsors. Hey, Lisa, nice to see you. You're in early today, wonderful. You know that real estate guy, home with your hands? Because you're in good hands with your hands. Look at a buy or sell. Get your hands on your hands. That's right. Hook me up. I work in, I'm a real estate agent who plays piano for you every night. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm a very good realtor as well. Uh, if you have any questions about the market, send me a PM. So yeah, I could sing, sing your listing for you. So I'm uh, still indulging in uh, lemon water. You know, you're welcome, Jamie. How are you? Jamie, I'm a little confused because I thought there was something in the newsletter, but I didn't see anything in the newsletter. So maybe it was another newsletter. But I like your newsletter, by the way. Thank you for sending it to me. Uh, cheers, everyone, on a Thursday night. I think it's Thursday. The only reason I know it's Thursday is today is garbage pick. No, that was Tuesday. Oh, no, Thursday is garbage pickup. I fortunately did put that out. 
As they say, I got all dressed up to put out my garbage this morning. So I'm going to start off uh, with what we call the gift from the universe, the, uh, the song that just, uh, I think this is 20, I counted 28 days in a row, consecutive days playing. Um, I hope you on the beats pill tonight, Dave. Oh, you have me on the beats pill. What's the beats pill? At least I'm confused what that is, what I'm reading here. The Beats Mill, what's that? Um, so, uh, composition number 28 about to unfold. Let's see what we get. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what the universe will bring us.
we go. Uh, there's a uh, the first uh, opening, the first opening salvo, shall we call it? I, uh, I see lost and joined the boat. Uh, walker pick I posted. I didn't. I missed that the boat walker pick. I haven't. I don't remember the boat walker picture. Okay. Um, hi, Tashana. I'm glad you like the composition. Hi, Lucy. Nice to see you. Fairy Naz is here. Sorry about your phone. I guess you had it in your back pocket and somebody complimented you. And whoosh, that thing just uh, blew up. You know, it has, your phone has a curve to it, the broken phone, Fairy Naz. I'm just saying, just an observation. Elizabeth, nice to see you. Yeah, send me, resend the pic, Kate. I didn't see that. Did you put it on the uh, virtual piano? Uh, group. Um, so what I said I was going to do, which of course I have not done yet, and that I will do, it was in Wednesday's newsletter, Home Resources. We'll have to look at it again. Um, and what's, I don't know what the Beats pill is, Lisa. What the hell is that? Um, okay, so Kate... You said you post, put something on. Okay, I'll look, I'll look for some boat pick. A boat walk pick? I don't know what you said. I'm just curious now. Let me just go look and see what am I missing out on. Um, groups. Groups. <coughs> You've got to count. Let's see. Uh, nope, it's not that one. Not that one. Oh. Nope. Kate, I don't see this pick. Whatever you posted, I, I missed it. Oh, the boat. Now I see the boat walker. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, Kate, uh, yeah, I've seen that post quite a few places in all my sailing groups. It's sad, man. I don't want to be that guy. That's not going to be my boat retirement is all I can say. So the request lines are opened. Uh, so I also, uh, I invited, uh, I know you're all, you know, happily quarantined with whoever, but in case you're not, uh, today's special guest is Shannon Tebb. Many of you know who she is, runs a boutique dating service here in Toronto, Shannon in the city. She's quite prolific on social media. Um, yeah, I, I, Kate, I hope I never, never need that. I think I'm going to do uh, what the lady in the uh, <clears throat> that Tiger movie did to her husband, which I believe she did. I'm going to cover myself in sardine oil when I can no longer function and jump off the back of my gorgeous sailboat in shark-infested water. Figure, you know, after drinking a bottle of rum, of course. Um, so, because I heard it's not too good to end up in an age, old age home. I figure it's better to be eaten by sharks. My, I don't know, Beats Pill. My, I do not know any Miley Cyrus, Lisa. I can assure you of that. Uh, so I tried with a few uh, light settings. Let me know if you find it okay. It's not too harsh, the lighting. Um, you know, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so now, what am I going to, what's my next song? Um, <laughs> Here's a, uh, you're li yes, I'm lit up like a Broadway star, Alex. Uh, hope the lighting's not too harsh. I'm still playing with it. I'm, not, I'm now the gaffer. I don't, uh, oh, shark enhanced. I didn't say infested. So I, I don't know how the lighting is. I'm, I'm looking on my monitor. It looks fine. You know, it's not too washy, washed out. So we'll see. We'll see. Because I want it, you know, I want a good light. You, you, you can buy everything online, right? Okay. Here's a, here's a good song. This can't be love because I feel so good no 
thoughts, no sorrows, no sighs. This can't be love, I get no dizzy spells, and still I love to look in your eyes. My heart says, yes, indeed, it can be real. It is too sweet to be real. This can be love because I feel so fine and still I love to, baby, I love to look in your eyes. Still I love to, yeah, you know I love to look, yeah You know I do, 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 I This can't be love. Oh, Dad says good overall lighting. He ought to know. He's a printer. He's very in tune with that kind of thing. Um, you know, presentation, everything. So uh, welcome everybody, the 28th, and we start the night off with This Can't Be Love because we're gonna have uh, the expert of love on the show later, around nine o'clock tonight. Uh, uh, Beyond the Sea, that's a great song. Uh, Shannon, or Susan, I should learn that song. Somewhere, uh, beyond the, it was not in uh, Finding Nemo, the first Finding Nemo song. So uh, here we are. I'm, I'm continuing the marathon of uh, two hours playing every night. So if you think, if you do the math, by the time I hit 30, um, I'll have played 60 hours of piano in a month. That's more than I've played in years. So uh, I think my technique is getting better, you know. And what I and and like I said, oh yeah, ain't no sunshine. Bill Weathers, I can do that, Michelle. Uh, what I said is that I was going to do and Mr. Purvis can likely hold me accountable, is that I was gonna be uh, re releasing all of the originals that I do, which means I better get in the studio and get, get on that. So, because there's, they're starting to pile up. So I'll just take each track that I start off with and I'll put it online. Um, so I did, I did pin the YouTube channel that you could see the link for that. So I've got all the previous videos, obviously well over 20 now from every night, uh, if you ever wanna watch them while you're making breakfast, I don't know, making the same little omelet over and over and over again. <clears throat> They're all there. So, it was kind of cool. Sunshine when she's gone Must be warm when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone In this house just ain't a home Every time she goes away Only this time when she's gone
she's gone Must be warm when she's away And ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't on sunshine when she's gone so that's a Bill Withers song who sadly passed away I believe it was last week a great song writer writer not a lighter might have let a few but he's a great songwriter so how's everybody doing in this uh, hi Nellie nice to see you in this uh, you know for forced home imprisonment program uh, thank you Kate I'm glad you liked it so Lucy I don't know English man in New York I know, so I can play another Sting song though, if you want, or by the, you know, if, we'll see what we let's see, let's look what's we can pull one of those out. Thanks, Deborah. I'm glad you like it. Uh, so here we are back again. We cleaned the piano today. Even would you believe it? Oh, I haven't lit the candles. Let's light those. You know, set the mood. Well, you can't even tell it's lit with this new light. It doesn't make a difference. Look at that. Because I didn't like the overhead lighting before, you know. The overhead lighting has got you need lighting from the side to do this properly. So when this is all over, if you meet me on the right side, you're not going to recognize me because you've only seen the left side of me. You have no idea if I'm like that guy in Batman where the right side of my face could be totally scarred and burned. You know, I guess that's something to think about. You know, if you're ever in a bad accident, you could still, and it was on one side of your body, you could still technically perform sitting sideways to the audience. <clears throat> when you spend a lot of time in your house, these are the kind of things that you think about. Oh yes, this masquerade, Susan, actually somebody else asked me for that. I'll play Fragile, Kate, but I'll start off with this masquerade and then I'll uh, go to Fragile. be the instrumental version, just give me the heads up. George Benson.
That is uh, George Benson. Uh, this masquerade. So what are you guys writing? Fragile. Oh yeah, I'll play fragile now. The left wing and the right wing are from the same bird. That's an interesting observation. So are you eating a bird tonight? Are you having chicken? Are you eating the left wing and the right wing? You hear Carol King in there. I could do. I did. Uh, what was it? Lean on. You're welcome, Maria. What was the Carol King song that I did the other day? Can't remember. Uh, so fragile. I'll play fragile. Glad you like that. <clears throat> so uh, let's see, fragile. I'm trying to get uh, get my piano tuned. That's that's an essential service. So if you're going to give me grief. Uh, because it's starting to go just slightly off, and it's just, eh, kind of bugging me. So I got to get that fixed. And it doesn't go out consistently. There's sections, right, that are little it's color changes. So it's a nuanced thing. Okay. Let me find Fragile. I was going to try an, um, this new song today, too. A Jimi Hendrix song, no less. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, I was talking about my left side, right. The left wing, right wing, right. Okay, now I got it. Duh. Sorry, to, sorry uh, Lisa, I didn't uh, stay. It wasn't, I wasn't on it. <clears throat> no, I should. Um... So how's everybody doing in COVID crisis land? What's happening? I think we should all go visit Trudeau at his cottage. Drop in and say hello, see how he's doing. I mean, he's got to be getting tired of being up there by himself now. So I could use a bit of cottage time, you know, hang out, hang out with him, you know? I think that'd be nice. I wonder if he'd accept a piano player into his cottage. Or maybe I'll bring my accordion. Hi, Christine. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. So I, ho I hope you guys are sharing the, uh, the link that I put out every day. And I you know I always try to do an artistic picture. I take a picture of the piano. Settling in the new normal. Well, I'll tell you, Lucy, this is not normal for me because my boat's not going in the water. So. That is about as far away from normal as you can get. Uh, more boat songs. I don't know if I know any boat songs. I know Sailing by Christopher Cross, the instrumental version. <coughs> know that song. <coughs> okay, so here we go. This is a Sting song. I'm just going to have to adjust my thermostat. It's kind of funny when I uh, start playing, I I, war I get I warm up, and then so it's then I get too warm quickly, so I have to turn the heat down in the house. So there we go. All right, and you know, hey Sam, nice to see you. Yeah, my wife. We I've been separated from my my wife. Uh, Kate says he's hot stuff. That's the only thing he is, Kate. He's only hot. That's it. That's all I'll give him. You know, not my kind of hot, but whatever. You know, to each his own. You know. talking about this song yesterday. Uh, it was written, uh, Sting wrote it about uh, Pinochet and the, uh, what was happening uh, in Chile back in the 80s when families were being, uh, people were just being abducted, you know, never heard from or seen again. Police state, it became, I guess, a police state. It was pretty awful. A lot of people from Chile uh, moved to Canada during that time. Bye. 
blood will flow when flesh and steel are one drying in the color of the evening sun tomorrow's rain will wash the stains away but something in our minds will always stay perhaps this act was final meant to clench a lifetime's argument that nothing comes from violence and nothing ever could for all those born beneath an angry star unless we forget how fragile we are and on and on the tears rain And on and on the rain will say how fragile we are, how fragile we are. Flesh and steel are one, drying in the color of the evening sun. Tomorrow's rain will wash the stains away, but something in our minds will always stay. Perhaps this final act was meant to quench a lifetime's argument that nothing comes from violence and nothing. Would all those born beneath the angry star? Lest we forget how fragile we are. song by a sting um, in honor of all the uh, missing individuals uh, in Chile back in the 80s. I, I mean, you could apply that song to so many. It's a very political song. Uh, this great sting, he taught English. Uh, and I always like how he puts words together, like, uh, you know, angry star. Blood will flow when flesh and steel are one. Like, wow, that's a very powerful statement. Did you try? Have you ever tried writing a song to see? Yeah, um, Lucy asks me, do I only see the lyrics on the iPod? That would be correct, Lucy. I don't, there's no music. It's, um, it's a guitar tab, basically. It shows chords, but I know the chords. I just don't, uh, I don't know if you could see, I don't know if it'll come up, what it looks like. If that'll, uh, there you go. See, that's what my iPad looks like. Um, and you know, I never play a song the same. It's like a lead sheet, if you think about it. It's like a jazz lead sheet. <clears throat> I mean, I could play it without looking at it, but then I'd mess up all the words because I can never, I can never remember the words. I don't even often remember the name of the song, and then I'm playing it. Like, What's the name of that song? That was just funny. So, uh, how's everybody doing? I'm, I'd like to know. Uh, did you see that uh, I posted that, uh, I don't even know, I guess she's a musician, was dancing salsa with her parents, and it looked fabulous. That was impressive. So yeah, I, I don't know, I put it on our, our group, our virtual piano group. 
So it's nice, we had snow yesterday, snow today. That's why I guess, I, don't, I think nobody's really complaining about not being able to go outside, but as soon as the hot weather hits, yeah, Sheila E, that's right. It's gonna be a gong show. Hey, Miles, nice to see you and happy to hear you're doing well. Sheila E, is that like the same as Sheila Easton or Sh Sheila E? She's a percussionist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now it's right, Karen. Now it's all coming back. So in uh, honor of uh, getting some more warm sunshine so we could all, you know, um, break the law and go outside and get some vitamin D. Here's a song by John Denver.
can't tell the tale about sunshine all the day. All the day. It's a beautiful John Denver song. I listened to a lot of uh, him growing up, and um, he really resonates with me. I mean, I loved all those album covers with him on a horse, and you know, he lived in Colorado, and Alex. Well, Alex, if you're in the house, nice to see you. Um, Wendy, nice to see you. Uh, yeah, John Denver, that's a sailing song for sure, Wendy, I would agree. I love that song. It brings me back to my childhood, and I can still remember what the album looks like, what that song was on. Um, it's, it's, uh, I really love that album. Played it Im intensely. <clears throat> I don't know if I would call him a country singer. Uh, he was a great, such a great songwriter, and he seemed like a really humble guy. And he was totally into, you know, nature and protecting, uh, you know, some parkland. And you know, every time I saw him interviewed, he was always hiking. And I thought, what a great guy! You know, he's, he seemed to live outdoors the whole time and just walk around with his guitar, wearing a bandana. He had a tragic death. He died in a plane accident. Apparently, uh, he was. Uh, I guess he wanted to fly his ultralight farther, so they installed a secondary fuel tank. And I guess he forgot the critical question, and that's how to transfer fuel from one tank to the new tank when the original tank gets empty. And because he didn't figure that out, boom, into the Pacific Ocean. And that was the end of John Denver, as unfortunately for us. Well, I guess and for him. So let's see, what other uh, requests do I have happening here? Um, oh yeah, we did raise money for a little girl to help her sail. That was, uh, we were originally raising money. Uh, Wendy's referring to, we donated funds, over six, raised over $600, gave it to Able Sail Toronto, that was Karen. And Xavier is uh, involved with that. She's also a fantastic sailor. Comes to our club for regatta all the time. Uh, and so now uh, trying to help, uh, well, no, not trying, we're doing, we're helping out Covenant House for uh, youth because I, I know I was reading that they're really in desperate straits right now and they need funds to help the kids there that are homeless. So I thought it'd be a really worthwhile cause to donate to. So if you, if you are feeling charitable, you know, uh, you want to maybe, uh, you know, drink less wine, p put some of your wine money towards, let's see, Dave's tip jar, this light is, the problem is, is it takes a while for the camera to figure out the exposure, so that's the light, and let's see if I can do this, if that works, uh, no, that doesn't work, if I do that, does that work, no, nope. no, it doesn't want to pick up the exposure. Anyways, <clears throat> getting back to work here. So I was going to, what, what songs, I wrote down some songs that I was going to try tonight. Well, I did all of them, one of them already. This can't be love, because I used to play, I forget what I know, so I thought, you know, I listen to jazz in the morning, and I'm like, oh yeah, I should play that song. Ah, Karen, Kate is asking for Hurt. Uh, oh, the Johnny Cash song. Was that the Johnny Cash song, Kate? Let me look. Maybe it is the Johnny Cash song. I could try that again. It is pretty sad. <clears throat> Let me look for it. I think, you, I think it is. Yeah, it is. That's the song you're talking about. I'll play that. And uh, that'll get us uh, hurt. That's perfect segue because Shani's going to be getting a hold of me pretty soon. And uh, we're going to be talking to her. So... Any single people in the house? They want to know about uh, dating during uh, the pandemic, how to pandemically date. I'm going to be talking to Shani. Shani. So let me, I got to remember how this song goes. Pretty dark. It's a very sad song. I don't know if you ever listened to the recording. Yeah, the long and winding uh, road. I could try that, Julia.
hurt myself today to see if I could feel I focus on the pain the only thing that's real the needle tears a hole the old familiar sweetest friend everyone I know goes away in the end if you could have it all now empire of dirt I would let you down I would make you hurt Stains of time, the feelings disappear. You are someone else, and I'm still right here. What have I become, my sweetest friend? Shani's in the house. Okay, so let's give Shani a call, and uh, hopefully this will work without any... If you, if you hear any uh, audio problems, if, um, I'm sure you'll let me know. So let's bring Shani on board here. Uh, Shannon Tab. Uh, call, so I'm calling her now. Boom, boom, boom. Good. So let's bring Shani on. I think she answered. <laughs> Hello! Okay, just a minute, Shani. I'm going to pull you up on my screen here. Uh, there we go. Hi, Shani. Say hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. How uh, are you? So I just want to make sure that everybody out there uh, can hear us. Can you guys hear us out there in uh, virtual piano bar land? There we go. I have to see if they start texting. Um, all right. Me too, in and under. Okay, guys, can you hear our audio? Just say hello, Shani, so we know that they can hear it. Hi, everyone. Okay, so everyone, this is Shani Tepp. Okay, Susan's <laughs> given me an affirmative yes. She runs Shani. Okay, uh, Shani, why don't I let you uh, introduce yourself and tell us uh, what it is that you do. Well, uh, hi, David. Thanks for having me tonight. You're, you're, you're most welcome. <laughs> so I run a boutique matchmaking firm here in Toronto and the GTA for singles that are busy professionals and that are looking to meet someone special. So with the COVID virus going on, we have seen a little bit of a stall with the matchmaking process, but now we're transitioning more to virtual dates. 
So that would be then safe sex because, you know, there's no contact. So, Less touching, more emotional connecting. You know, Dexter would be a really good uh, dater at this time because he'd be, he covers everything in saran wrap. So that would be a... <laughs> <laughs> nice and safe. <laughs> uh, Okay, so uh, so we're talking about uh, so what are you what are you what are you seeing in the dating world? What are your clients doing, or what are you what are you advising them to do if they want to go out and meet somebody? How many people that are, do you know that are quarant socially isolated alone or quarantined al alone? Ex well, I'm not. I'm, I know a lot of married couples that are you know quarantined with their partners, but I'm not I talking about married couples who want to be alone. I'm talking about actual quarantine you know, single people. Yeah, well, most yeah. single people are on their own, yeah. so they are practicing, you know, social distancing, and we're not even advising to do, like, the walk date. So a lot of the dates now are just through, you know, FaceTime, uh, Zoom media calls. It's, it's just another way to connect, and, like, people are having longer um, phone chats, mm -hmm. and we're seeing there's more, like, audio messaging going on versus texting. So it's more personal when you hear someone's voice. So that's what we're recommending at this time. It's like, it's a little bit mixed. Some people are like, you know what, I don't wanna, I wanna hold my membership for now and maybe, um, you know, wait on the virtual dates and see what happens. And other people are all game for virtual dating and trying something new. Well, I it, think it would be interesting because if you think about it, instead of meeting right away now, people are gonna get a chance to know each other through communication exactly. without, you know, Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. People are like talking more about their passions or interests. It's not so physical. It's, you know, people are having longer conversations. And again, once you get comfortable being on camera, I think practice practice makes perfect. So the more you practice independently, you know, videotaping yourself and you may be sharing it with a friend, you're going to get more confident with the, um, you know, how you present online, like through the video date. This is true. Never yeah. thought of that, actually. <laughs> Practice ahead of time. And I just wrote a blog a couple of weeks ago on ways to date during COVID, which is on my website. So anywhere from, you know, positioning the camera and the computer with textbooks, you know, making sure you have the right lighting. How's my lighting then? Out, it's how's... great. Okay, and good. I always compliment you. You always are dressed like yeah. a first first date ready right <laughs> so even with these video dates you want to show up you know best first date ready you don't want to like you know be wearing your sweatshirt i always thought it was better to start from the bottom and work your way up you know because if you wear your best outfit then you've got nowhere to go right so whereas if you wear you know pajama bottoms and a t-shirt and they still like you then you have a place to evolve to you can then appear in a suit Yes, you can always keep impressing them, but I do believe in like the first impression is key and how you show up for that first introduction date, even if it's through a virtual date, is very important. Yeah. You, you want to put in the effort and make sure the back of your surrounding, surroundings is clean too, like there's no dirty dishes in the sink. Make sure you have no interruptions, like if you're at home and you're a millennial and you're living with mom and dad, you know, make sure the door shut so you're I not thought like... About that. I turn the lights off in the background, and then my dirty dishes are underexposed, and nobody can see them. That's great. At least you're hiding it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shani, make sure to put uh, make sure to put your link on the in the comments and on the virtual piano bar page in the group, so that everybody can see it and uh, find out about you. Yeah, because we do have a free singles network, which allows you to be part of our database. Because okay. we still want to help singles, you know, connect, even if it's through a virtual date, just start slow and see what happens. I know that, like, singles are feeling, you know, really lonely at this time. And you maybe are not feeling overly romantic because you're kind of not thinking about love and dating. But eventually we're going to get there, and it's good to kind of you know be prepared and jump ahead you have to get out of your pajamas and then that would be step one yes. and and start and you know get dressed every day have a shower put on that makeup put on that perfume do whatever you need to do to make you to make you feel great okay well thanks very much Shani. what's your what what romantic song do you want to hopefully i know it what's your romantic song re request before uh I um, see you later before i say how goodbye about lady in red did oh, you already play I don't. I don't like that song. Oh no. Okay. I like. Um, Cause I can, that's Krista Berg. I could try it. You know what? I'll try it. But you're wearing pink. I've just got to okay. say. Uh, I love Frank Sinatra. Anything by Frankie. 
Uh, he does Satin Doll. That's a romantic song. He also does Witchcraft, which is about flirting. Uh, um, I got you under my skin because that's what happens when you first start dating. Okay, I'll play you that song. Okay, I'll play you that song. A lot of people are getting under each other's skin, dating or not, while they're quarantined together. Yes. Uh, Shani, thanks very much. This was a lot of fun to have you on the show. Oh, and, so fun. Thank yeah, you. And you look great, and I really appreciate you... Uh, joining us so okay. and, and, do i get to listen in for the next hour absolutely you can make requests and and if anybody has any questions you know you you're on the comments there you could shoot sure. them some advice yeah i'm ready all right cool i would i i would be able to date but i'm married to my boat so i you know i'm off the mark piano. <laughs> well, yeah, the piano right now yeah <laughs> that's true okay <laughs> thanks well thanks so much david i appreciate the, you're welcome uh, it was awesome to uh have you on board tonight thanks so much Okay, see All you. Right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Cool. That was fun. That was Shani. So let's give her a round of applause. See? That's applause for Shani. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I already forgot what song uh, Shani asked for. Oh, no, she asked. I'll play Witchcraft, Lisa. Uh, and I'll also play, uh, she asked for uh, I've Got You Under My Skin, which is, that's what you want to do when you're dating. You want to get under their skin. So let's do that. You under my skin I've got you deep in the heart of me So deep in my heart that you're really a part of me I've got you under my skin So, yes, not to give in. I said to myself, this fair never will go so well. Why should I try to resist when, baby, I know so well? I've got you under. For the sake of having you near In spite of the warning voice That comes in the night and repeats Just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin Cause I got you under my skin Anything come with my For the sake of having you near In spite of the warning voice that comes in the night And repeats and yells in my ear Don't you know, little fool Yes, you never can win yeah. Use your mentality Wake up to reality Each time I do just the thought of you me stop before I begin cause I got you cause I got you 
And I got you under Got you under my skin. That was for Channy in the city. Uh, Dad just said that the lighting went down. Well, don't know what happened because I never touched the lighting. So I don't know what it looks the same to me on this end. I don't know if anybody else can see the same thing. Um, I could turn it up. Let's see what happens. Let's try. It. Okay, now I really juice the lighting. The, 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 the funny thing is, is it's hard to get this thing to focus. Like, it's what's really funny. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, what I, what I want to try, actually. Let's see what that does. Oh, maybe I don't know if you like that. Maybe not. Okay. I'll do it. Okay, I'll keep it at that. <laughs> uh, Neil Diamond. Okay, let's look up Neil Diamond. You know, I haven't uh, played any Neil Diamond for a while, so let's see. He's done, uh, didn't he do Love on the Rocks? I think that's a love, uh, Neil Diamond song. Um, let's see. <laughs> since I've played this song. So, I, you know, I'm always into experimenting with tunes that I haven't played in a while, you know, diving in and seeing what happens. Oh, what was your request, Jeanette? My apologies. Uh, and I will play it, but... Uh, oh, sweet Caroline. I'm so sick of playing that song, Lisa. Come on. Uh, uh, let's do Love on the Rocks, you know. And what was your request, Jeanette? Don't say, what's your play my request. I can't remember what your request was now, and I apologize for that. I don't like how this camera doesn't focus always properly. September Morn. Uh, that's an interesting song, too. September Morn. Let's look up that song. Let's see, I'm curious about how that one goes. Oh, yeah, is she really going out with him? That's right. I forgot. Well, I was supposed to play that before Shani came on. Now I remember. Heartlight. Um, okay, well, let's try. I'm, not, I'm gonna look up some of these songs and see if, which one will work best. Um, uh, here's Heartlight. The nice thing about this program is um, you can. So let's see, I'll listen to it, you know, see if I can wing it. Uh, oh, yeah.
see. I didn't think I could do this. could try this. Excellent place so far, and I'll be right there for you. Should call me, turn on your heart light, let it shine wherever you go, let it make a happy go. Don't wake me up too soon Cause you take a ride across So yeah, I'll add that to the repertoire. Um, I haven't played that song probably in 30 years, so I had to remember how it goes. It's a classic, I agree. Um, uh, yeah, so I should play that Joe Jackson song. Uh, Sunrise, Sunset from Fiddler on the Roof. I'll look, see, I'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll you know, do the classic Google thing um, for Maria. How do you... You know, Maria. 
from The Sound of Music. Hi, Marina. From Maria to Marina. Um, I think there's one letter. Uh, thank you. Glad you like that, Marina. I'll never forget your name because you're named after my favorite place, the place where you keep boats, Marina. So, um, little Joe Jackson. I'm going to actually look up the words. I always forget the words. So this is good. I should, I, I should, um, hey, Susie Madonovich, nice to see you. Susie's in the house. Um, is she really going out with him? Because, you know, in the world of dating, that's a question that often gets asked. <clears throat> Here we go. There it is. <laughs> Now that's just a crap score. I need the words, I don't need anything else. Uh, yeah. Hey Cynthia, how are you doing? Good to see you. Pretty women out walking with gorillas down my street. Joe Jackson, is she really going out with him? Uh, these things happen, you know. Uh, 
So there you go. Uh, that's one of my favorite songs to play. Jeanette asked for that. So there you go, Jeanette. And somebody out there was, um, uh, you feeling good, Cynthia? I'm glad you're feeling good, darling. Uh, good to see you. Let's see. Yep, sassy. That was a whole lot of sass sassy going on in that song. Um, just scrolling up. Sunrise, sunset. Oh, I gotta turn my audio off on the computer, yeah. Um, yeah, it was kind of a fun tune to play, Susan, I agree. Uh, I saw, I saw uh, Joe Jackson play, Hello, Yellow Tulip Cartier. How are you? Thanks for joining us. I saw him play when I was a kid. He was playing at, uh, at uh, University of Waterloo. I, I lived near there, so I went to see him perform. That was a lot of fun. OK, so getting back to Sunrise, Sunset. That could be interesting. Uh, let's look on YouTube and see what that sounds like. See if we can just, you know, whip that off, as they say. Uh, let's see, pull up YouTube. Where's YouTube on this? Eh, later. Oh, God, I hate when it does that. OK, YouTube, there we go. Sunrise. We're getting into the musical now, are we? That's what's happening. Sunrise, sun, rise. Sunset. I don't, I don't know if it'll, I don't know what it's going to pull up. Oh, here, let's see. Sunrise, sunset, filler on the roof. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's, it's a commercial first. Okay. Have a little listen here. Interesting. Where's the sun? Where's the sun? It's a long intro. You know, really, Maria? I don't think so. That's a lot of klezmer music going on in there. Uh, so, so let's go back to our original programming. Uh, so, you know, I love Jewish music, you know. <laughs> Sounds uh, uh, rather klezmerish. I'm going to bring out the accordion next. You know, <clears throat> you know what's kind of funny about this camera is that it uh, its perception of where the focal point is is incorrect because my face is. I mean, it makes me look younger because it's not focused on here. I think it's focused on my hand or the keyboard. You know. It's <laughs> and stuff going on? I don't know. Um, okay, let's just bring it back to the Gentile music. Um, back to the gen gen back now to our Gentile programming. So uh, a reminder, 
of our sponsors, Home With Your Hands. You're in good hands with your hands. Looking to buy or sell a home? Get your hands on your hands so that you're in good hands. And then don't forget Dave's tip jar. That's right. Dave's accepting tips for the Covenant House, helping homeless children lead better lives. Tip today so that you can keep Dave going on the piano, who's now in his 28th consecutive night performing live every night, two hours. Can you believe that? Closing in on Thursday, <coughs> 30. So I guess Saturday will be 30 days. So let me think about that. Today's the 28th. Today's a Thursday. 28 days today. Then 29 will be Friday. And 30. So big celebration. Thursday, Saturday night is 30 days in a row. Okay, you got that? And you got to share. We got to get some more kids in the hood, get more guys on board, you know, for doing this. Expand our audience. So you have to share the link when I post it on, during the day. So now what was like, oh yeah, Lisa had asked for witchcraft. I'll play witchcraft. That's a, that's a classic, uh, you know, Sinatra recorded that. Take a swig of my, uh, uh, I'll take a swig of my water, you know. Which has lemon in it. in my hair That's like come here the stair That strips my conscience bare That's witchcraft And I've got no defense for it The heat is too intense for it What good is common sense for it now to do Cause it's witchcraft It's wicked witchcraft And although I Strictly taboo When you arouse the need in me My heart says yes indeed in me Proceed with what you're leading me to It's such an ancient pitch But one that I will never switch Cause there's no nicer witch than you in my head that's like come here the stair that strips my conscience bare that's witchcraft and I've got no defense for it the heat is too intense for it what good is common sense for it now to do cause it's witchcraft it's wicked witchcraft and although I know With what you're leading me to It's such an ancient pitch But one that I wouldn't switch Cause there's no nicer witch than you Yeah Cause there's no nicer witch than you Yeah, you got it Cause there's no nicer witch than you Witchcraft There you go. That was for Lisa Collins. Witchcraft. Should dress up and have a party. Always have a party. Always dress up. So, let's see. What's another song that... Um, let me go through. 
There was a song I was messing around with. I could try it, the uh, Jimi Hendrix tune. Let me pull it up. Um, I could, Farinaz says I could play Matchmaker from Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, well, I think I think a match. I'm not going to say who, but there was a match that was generated from the uh, the virtual piano bar. I mean, I know they talked, and I don't know what man. I'm not going to disclose names, you know, but <clears throat> I think that was pretty cool. Connection out of Dave's virtual piano bar, because I mean, really, that's what you want. Uh, you want people to match in a piano bar. I mean, sit around the piano, talk. That's what we're all, you're all sitting at my piano bar. Effectively, it's my virtual piano bar. You know, telling me about your relationship stories. Um, uh, let's see, what's a good song to do? Oh yeah, I was looking for that, that uh, Jimi Hendrix tune. I don't know what it's gonna, I'm, I'm still me messing around with it, so we'll see, uh, see how it works. Um, okay, so... This is not the one I was thinking of, but I looked up Jimi Hendrix and this is what came up, so.
circus mind that's running wild. Butterflies and zebras, moments, fairy tales, and all she ever thinks about it is riding with the wind. With a thousand smiles She gives to me is free It's alright, it's alright She says Take anything you want You want from me Fly little wings Yeah, that's uh, that's a song. Uh, I think Jimmy, who wrote that? I thought Jimi Hendrix wrote that. That's definitely a Hendrix tune, but Lenny Kravitz covered it. And Lenny Kravitz is amazing. <clears throat> um, so Irene just uh, jumped on board. Uh, Irene, nice to see you here, and welcome to the party. So you asked for an original. Thank you, Christian. Nice to see you. You're beautiful. So let me play this an original. And thanks for reminding me, Irene. I, I should try to do uh, an original every night because they're fun to do. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet. So let me think about that one. Okay. Uh, you know, I forget what I know. This one, because I don't have names for them. Uh, I'll do the, the I'll do this song. It's a happy song.
My piece is called uh, Heading Up. I think I wrote it about three years ago. Uh, hey, Chris Weigel is in the house. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. So that's a sailing song. Thanks, Cynthia. Thanks, Shani. So, uh, uh, Leon Russell. What's a Leon? Chris, give me an exact name of a song, because I don't know, like, really who Leon Russell is. So if he said his name, I have no idea. Can't pull a song. Um, the talent in these hands. It's not talent, it's work, man. You know what they say, it's 1% talent and 99% perspiration. <clears throat> the talent is nothing. It's got, you gotta work, you gotta work every day uh, to make things happen. So I, in order to have my piano technique, like I still practice every day. I still do all my, I say this all the time, I still do all my, on my scale, so I <laughs> all twelve keys. Uh, I do arpeggios. I practice classical pieces. Uh, yeah, work, work. Talent is one thing, but you could. I know guys that are super talented and nothing happened to them because they didn't. You have you have to throw in a little bit of work and discipline uh, to move things forward. It's like true with everything, right? Um, and I like having, I just, I'm, it's, I love having my hands in shape. That's a really nice thing about playing, like every night for the last month, uh, my hands right now are feeling, every day they just get more and more and more fluid, which I love, I love that feeling. You know, it's like going to the gym all the time. It's no different than going to the gym and pumping iron, you know, get, making your body strong, you know, making your hands, they get faster. That's why it's fun that when I'm playing those originals, I can say, oh, okay, here we go, you know, I got some, Got some shit happening, which is an awesome feeling. <clears throat> so, uh, moving right along. Uh, let's see. Um, I know what song I'm going to do. I haven't done this song in a while. Uh, let's see, I'm just looking at some some of the other stuff that's kind of on my list. Uh, let's see what you got. Let's see. Oh, I got one that I haven't done since we're kind of we're kind of leaning on the uh, classic rock tunes. I'll do this one. This is a fun one to do. <laughs>
come She's under my thumb Under my thumb The Siamese cat of a pen Under my thumb, oh yeah The sweetest pet in the world She talks us down to me Changes come She's under my soul Stones too. That was fun. I haven't played that one yet. Um, let's see. What's another good song to do? I'm thinking. I've got 10 minutes left. Maybe take it down a tone. Uh, let's see. What's a chill song? That's kind of a cool tune. Uh, Leon Russell. Chris asked me for Leon Russell. What's a Leon Russell? Don't give me the name of an artist because I never know. Like I'm terrible with names. So if you say like Leon Russell, I don't. I need a title for a song, and then I can maybe figure it out if I know any. Probably no songs by Leon Russell. A song for you. I don't know that one. Oh, your, your song? Okay, I'll do your song and then uh, uh, I'll do uh, your song for Meredith von Binzenbergen. And then, then I'll play our closing song. Our tradition, what's become a tradition of our uh, closing song is Smile by Charlie Chaplin. Um, don't know Layla by Eric Clapton. I mean, I kind of do, Lisa. So uh, here comes your song. Uh, let's see. I don't really need the music for this. I think I'll see if I I'll see if I remember the words. No, as soon as I say that, then I'm gonna mess myself up. Uh, so I'll pull up the words because <laughs> then you're gonna watch. <laughs> I shouldn't challenge myself like that. I don't know why I can never remember words. Uh, oh, Canada is a close. Hmm. Once we change our. Uh, Liberal government, I'd be happy to play that song. Did I just say that? Did I just make a political statement? Now it's a little bit funny this feeling inside I'm not one of those who can easily hide I don't have much money boy if I did I'd buy a big house where we we both could live If I was a sculptor, then again, no, or a man who makes potions in a traveling show. I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. It's my son. Maybe quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind when I put down. 
you're in the world Versus where they got me quite cross anyways. The sun's been quite kind. Well, I know this song is for people like you that keep me turned on. You see, I've forgotten. You see, I've forgotten. life is because all of you are here with me. All of you are here with me. Well, thank you for being here with me on my uh, on a 28th consecutive night. You know, think about that. Who would have thought the night I started that I'd be doing 28 nights in a row? It's still going. The marathon continues. Back tomorrow, 8 p.m., I'll be here. Um, as they say, chained to the piano. Which reminds me, there's a great Billy Joel song he wrote for Ray Charles I should play tomorrow. Now let's uh, play you out. You're welcome, Meredith. I'm glad you liked that. It was a great suggestion. So now I'm going to play Smile. Because this, as I say every night... <coughs> These words are so great right now. Uh, you know, some people are having a problem dealing with the situation and feeling anxiety. You know, when, and it, no matter what experience you go through, this, the words of this song really do help you. Thank you, Marina. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I almost don't want to break the cycle now because I don't want to break the flow, you know, like, you know, what's going to happen? You guys are all going to show up at my house if I stop one night. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> all right, so uh, here we go. Here's a song called Smile. This is my advice to you to get through the day. Smile though your heart is breaking. Smile even though it's aching. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. If you smile through your fear and sorrow, smile and maybe tomorrow you'll see the sun come shining through. Light up your face with gladness, hide. Every trace of sadness, although a tear may be ever so near, that's the time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll see that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. There's a lot of things to be smiling about. Have you noticed the buds on the trees now? They're coming out. We're going to be now very soon surrounded by beautiful, young, very green leaves on the trees. We're going to get back to normal. That's what I'm going to be hopeful for. Yeah. Because you can't stay like this, man. boat in the water, I gotta go sailing, you know, feel the sunshine.
sunshine, get that vitamin D on the water, feel the wind. So just keep on smiling. Thank you so much for joining me this evening, and I'd like to thank uh, the sponsor, Home With Your Hands. Your in good hands with your hands. Looking to buy or sell? Get your hands in good hands with your hands. Uh, that tag is really starting to come together. And don't forget the charity tip jar for uh, Covenant House. Yes. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow at 8. Please share the link. So we, uh, you know, share, share, share. I say that every day. Um, and that it is like winter, Irene, because it's snowing. Uh, so please share the link and, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, which I posted in the comments. Um, I did to post the link to donate is in the, I pinned it in the comments. It should be there. Uh, thanks, Karen Ann. So uh, everybody, hope you have a beautiful evening and I will see you tomorrow. And I'm so grateful that you joined me this evening and that this community has evolved from this and that we're helping each other stay connected. And I'm very grateful for that. So thank you, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night.